up y'all and welcome back to my channel so in today's video i am going to share some of my favorite things that i've been cooking this last month it is that time of the year where i've been craving just like a lot of warm hearty full fall winter inspired type of meals all of the meals in this video will be plant-based and there are a few alkaline recipes and a few recipes that where you can omit like two or three seasonings and you can make it purely alkaline so let's go ahead and just jump right into the video so number one what i've been having for breakfast is this amaranth porridge i have been using amaranth as the base of my breakfast you can do this a whole bunch of different ways it's kind of the same as like grits or what you would do with quinoa i have been using this for breakfast in different variations but today i am going to be using my caramelized apple recipe So first I am going to take these delicious organic Honeycrisp apples. These apples are so bomb. I've kind of been bouncing back between Honeycrisp and Fuji. I actually remembered as I was already cutting up the apples that I had one of those apple slicers, but to be honest, it was much harder to use. I don't chop them up evenly because I do like the different variation in texture. After I've mixed that up and put it into a nice pan, I then add a nice amount of agave. These apples, and depending on what apples you get, are gonna be sweet enough, but it all kind of just depends on your taste preference. I honestly do this to taste. I really don't measure much, but I'll try. For the sake of creating videos, I will try to start measuring things a little bit more precisely. If you want this to be Dr. Savy approved alkaline, you would just omit the cinnamon as well as the vanilla. I then add my alkaline butter. I got this alkaline butter recipe from Ty's Conscious Kitchen. He has so many alkaline recipes, so you guys can go ahead and check him out and get the recipe for this alkaline butter. So I like to add the butter last and what I do is I like to sit it into the pan and turn the heat off and allow the apples to kind of soak up and incorporate the butter and get all nice and caramelized and juicy. This meal, you guys, is so bomb. I swear it's honestly one of my favorite breakfasts. That's why it's in this video. But after you make it once, it's super easy to meal prep. I just put the apples in a separate container, make the amaranth, and put it in these containers so that it's kind of portions. My fridge is kind of OCD, so maybe you don't want to do all this. But to me, it just makes life easier. And then I just warm it up on the stove every single day. I add my apples, add my walnuts, and then it's good to go. I don't like cold things. But even cold, these apples are bomb. Mm. Bomb. In this whole video, it's my sweet potato tacos. These tacos, y'all, are bomb. Two or three years ago, you could have never told me to put potatoes, avocado, lime all in one meal. I would have said absolutely not. I got different options. I love it. It's these tacos are amazing. The ingredients might be a little funky together. I don't know, but let's go ahead and get into these sweet potato tacos. I'm 
I don't care if the, the seasonings somewhat blend, but for the most part, I wanted the dominant seasonings on each of the sweet potato as well as the red bell peppers. Then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and pop these into the oven and put these on for about 15 to 20 minutes at 350. Now taking a quick little break, I wanted to share something new that I've tried with you guys in the middle of prime holiday season. So it's either a time where you can get completely off track or experiment and make lots of food with your family and your friends. You can choose whatever combination of superfoods that you want and they deliver it straight to your door in cups that you can just go ahead and pop in the freezer and use whenever you're ready. Each cup has the ingredients as well as the directions very clearly and simply put on the cup. All you do is open the lid, you pour in your liquid of choice, you blend it, and it's ready to go. You can actually pour it back into these cups, and it actually has a cute little straw hole, so you're good to go. When you open up the cup, you can see all the ingredients inside. So instead of just adding plain water, I add some vegetable broth, and then I go ahead and pour it into my Ninja cup, and I go ahead and blend it. After that, I just put it on the stove for like two minutes, and then it's ready to eat. this is this is the best daily harvest item that i got hands down if you guys are interested in trying out daily harvest for yourself you can go ahead and click the link down below and use code the fine guru for 25 dollars off your first box onions so i'm gonna go ahead and put a small pan and i like to do this in a small pan i don't know um i like burnt charred flavors might not be good all the time, um, but today we're gonna do it. So I'm gonna use a small pan and I'm gonna put it on very high heat and then I'm gonna add my onions and my mushrooms. I like to put these in a small pan so that it's condensed and I char the bottom half, but I leave the top half soft. This taco, you guys, bomb. This is honestly probably the one of the best things that I've made in a long time. This chipotle sauce, the avocado. If you guys try one thing in this video, try this. Don't be scared. I promise you will love this. My next recipe is my alkaline soup. I love this soup. It's actually really good when you feel like you're getting sick or one of your loved ones is getting sick. I've blended a few of the harder to eat vegetables that people typically don't like so that it kind of just blends in with the soup. This is actually 100% Dr. Sebi approved alkaline. It also has the 102 minerals because I added my bladder rag powder as well as my iris sea moss powder. For this soup to be good or for it to be alkaline, it does not need the bladder rag or the iris sea moss powder. I just incorporated it as an option. 
um, and also showing you guys different ways that you can or incorporate your 102 minerals within your meals. So enough talking, enough background, let's go ahead and get right into the alkaline soup. For the base of the soup, I'm going to be using some spring water as well as a fresh onion. After this boils for some time, I'm then going to go ahead and add my wild rice. Wild rice low-key takes, well actually low-key, it, it takes a long time to cook, so you're going to want to go ahead and put it in pretty soon. It takes about 40 to 50 minutes for it to cook all the way through. Honestly, it kind of depends on the way that you like your wild rice. I like my wild rice thoroughly cooked. Through Dr. Sabi's teachings, I learned that the body has 102 minerals and incorporating the iris sea moss as well as the bladderwrack incorporates all the 102 minerals that we need in our body. If you're the type of person who doesn't really like to take your iris sea moss or your bladderwrack or you're cooking for somebody who doesn't like to take their iris sea moss or their bladderwrack or you haven't tried it, this is a good way to kind of disguise it within a meal and you honestly really can't taste it. If anything, it has kind of like a miso soup type of taste when I incorporate it with all the rest of the ingredients. I'm actually gonna be blending some of my loved one's least favorite vegetables to kind of disguise them in the soup. Kale and mushrooms kind of are like a common theme in my family um, of, of different textures or vegetables that people don't like. And because I wanted to incorporate them into this soup because they have a lot of nutritional properties, blend them. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my mushrooms and then add my kale and then take the broth from the soup and incorporate it into my ninja cup and then go ahead and blend it and then pour it into the soup. This completely disguises the textures that a lot of people don't like. And then the lime juice from the soup um, kind of simmers down the bitterness of kale. And of course, y'all know I added extra lime on top. The lime, I would say, makes the soup. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Um, the broth really reminds me of a tortilla soup. And because I added the fresh avocados, it, it provides like a lot of creaminess. And also reminds me of, um, Reminds me of, um, it also, and also the, um, it's good. I'm sorry, I can't talk right now. The, um, the avocado also is another reason why it reminds me of tortilla soup. But this is bomb, y'all. The broth is really good. I think that's because it's a mixture of blending the mushrooms as well as the kale. And then obviously the onion was in there for a long time. The fennel gives it a really nice kick. This soup is warm. And when I've made that for people who are sick, it works. It's a secret soup. 
All right, y'all, and that concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos, and I will see you in the next upload.